So two years ago in May, I did a video about KDE Neon. Now as some of you longtime subscribers probably know, I really like KDE and it was the first desktop environment I ever used on Linux. I want to avoid trying to explain exactly what KDE Neon is in this video, but to kind of summarize it, it is effectively a non-distro for all the latest and greatest stable KDE applications. So it's kind of like Kubuntu, but not. I talk about it a little bit more in the article I wrote on Medium, so go check it out there. But basically in this video, I want to talk about my experiences with KDE Neon in 2019, though I've actually been using it for three months starting in December. But I've been using it as a daily driver because I wanted to experience it. I wanted to make a follow-up video for that last video I did on KDE Neon because people still really like it and people ask me my thoughts on it today. Now obviously KDE Neon has changed a fair bit in the past two years. So before I address those and talk about the good things and bad things about KDE Neon, I want to show you guys how I customize KDE. Now the KDE desktop has a reputation for being extremely customizable and that's one of my favorite things about it. So let me just walk you through some of the customizations I've done to the desktop here. So you can change pretty much every aspect about the theme and style of the desktop in settings under appearance. The base theme I'm using is Materia, and by the way, you can get all of these themes and color schemes and stuff directly from the settings under that button called Get New Looks. But I'm not using the entire Materia theme. As you can see under Desktop Theme, I'm actually not using any of these. I found that all of these themes were good in some ways, but they didn't fit exactly what I was going for. For example, the cursor theme, the vast majority of these themes use the breeze cursor theme, which is dark, and it seems weird to have a dark cursor on a dark background. And then for the color scheme, I use a Customize Adapta Nokoto. For the window decorations, I use a theme called Windows K10. Now, what can I say? I like the way Windows, uh, Windows look. I like that blue outline around the windows. A lot of times when you're using a flat theme and you've got flat windows, it's hard to see what's in the background and foreground. Having this blue border makes it easy to see. And the actual top bar blends in with the rest of the application. It just looks really good. I like it. I'm using the default icon set and the default widget style, which is Breeze. And for the fonts, I use Montserrat. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Some people don't like this font. I absolutely love it and I can't live without it. For fixed width, I use Hack. Hack is KDE's default fixed width font, and it's actually pretty good. So the biggest thing I love about GNOME is the way that you can press the meta key or Windows key and just have everything expose and search from there. Now you can't combine the search and the window spread or expose or whatever you want to call it on any distro as far as I know. But with KDE Neon, there's a desktop effect called present windows and I have it bound to meta tab, which is ironically the same key that Windows uses for the same effect. But it does a very GNOME activities like thing. You can't search here and you can't like drag and drop the windows around. But I find it way more useful than doing alt tab to try to switch windows. I guess I prefer the visual presentation more than just like this little bar on the side that tries to tell you what you're looking at. And the last thing I want to show you here in the settings is how I've got Kwin's compositor set up. So if you don't already know, Kwin does not play nice with the proprietary closed source NVIDIA drivers. So I've made some changes to the compositor settings and I haven't seen it crash once. So I've got the scale method set to crisp. The rendering backend is OpenGL 3.1. I read this tip in the NVIDIA forum. Somebody was complaining about the exact same issue I was having and somebody suggested this and hey, it seems to work. I have VSync turned off because it interferes with my screen capture and it causes everything to be really jerky. I have keep window thumbnails to never. I think somebody suggested that and I just did it. I'm not actually sure what it does. And then allow windows to block compositing is off. That is the main thing that causes KWIND to crash. So the idea behind this setting is when a full screen 3D application pops up, it will disable compositing. But apparently KWIN gets confused and just like crashes. Now supposedly when compositing is disabled, you should see better performance and things. Uh, that might be true, but I haven't noticed like any difference at all. So uh, yeah, these are probably the most important settings I have for the entire desktop because I do, you know, a lot of gaming and a lot of screen capture. I can't have KWIN crashing on me, and this was actually the number one thing that would get me to give up on KDE and hop over to another desktop. I mean, when your window manager is crashing, kind of makes you not want to use it, right? So talking about the compositor settings is a good place to hop into the things I really liked about KDE Neon. So let me just start with Discover here so there's something running in the background that I can talk over. KDE's Discover has improved so much over the past year or so, it's incredible. For starters, it just 
works. And I know that sounds silly, but it wasn't very functional last time I used it. Half the time it would crash when it was trying to update or the update widget in the panel would be all jacked up and it would say there was updates when there wasn't. Now, after using Neon for three months, I think I've used the terminal to install applications maybe a dozen times. Discover is that good, like I don't need to open a terminal to install stuff, I just use Discover and search for it. You can install apps from PPAs, from flat packs, from snaps. You can set snaps or flat packs as the default. So if you search for an application like Discord and you have flat pack set as default, it will install the flat pack version over the snap version. Another thing I really love about Neon is that Redshift works perfectly. Now, if you don't know what Redshift is, it basically just dims the color temperature so that everything becomes a little more red or brown towards the end of the day when it's nighttime. It helps with eye strain, and I used it a lot on GNOME, but I swear, half the time it wouldn't work. Like, I would see the screen dim, and then it would just go back to normal. And if I go to the settings, it says that it was active, but it clearly wasn't because it dimmed and then stopped dimming. Every day, KDE dims, and it, I don't have to do anything. I don't have to go to the settings, I don't have to go to the widget, it just works every single time. And when I go to play a game, it turns off. And when I'm done playing the game and I close it, it turns back on. It's super, super awesome. And yeah, I guess that's kind of the theme of all the things I love about Neon. It's super stable. The only real issue I've had is that the panel seems to break sometimes when I'm searching for apps in the app menu. Now I have a theory that it has something to do with the alpha gradient on the app menu and when I search something weird happens and it tries to minimize it reopens and it just crashes. The awesome thing is that the panel always recovers like it crashes it goes away and then it pops back up and then KDE is like hey something went wrong just to let you know and everything is back to normal. But the fact that it does happen and it recovers is pretty darn cool. The other big thing that kind of sucks about KDE is that Contact and Akonadai, I think, doesn't work. And Contact is the KDE Personal Information Manager or PIM suite of tools. I talked about it in another video. It's just a mess. It was a mess then and it's still a mess now. Half the time my calendar events don't actually pop up. When I initially set up my calendar on Neon, all of my events would show up in the little calendar widget and then that just stopped happening and now they're gone forever because they've never come back. I think that the whole contact suite of applications is being worked on right now and I'm really looking forward to when that's released, but right now it just sucks and I basically don't even use it. And then the last thing worth mentioning is that there are a lot of flipping updates. And I don't even mean for like KDE or Qt applications, just like normal Ubuntu applications. And maybe it seems like they're more frequent because Flatpak updates are thrown in there too, but it seems like every day I have between 25 and 50 updates. It would be nice if security updates and things were just installed automatically so I don't get hassled constantly about updates. But I mean, that's like a pretty low priority issue. It's not that big of a deal at all. But that's the last thing I have on my list of rants and raves and things I wanted to talk about in this video. I wrote an article that both summarizes and expands on some of the things I talked about in this video. It's over on Medium and you should go check it out. And if you like this video and you want to support me and see more, you should subscribe and check out the description for information on how to support me. I'm partnered with Linode and I have a discount code, so if you want to get started in the cloud, you can use that. It's in the description. I've also got Patreon and stuff. You can check me out there. I appreciate everybody's support and thanks for watching.